If you are a new viewer, make sure that you hit that subscribe button to become a member of the family. to tell you what to do yeah, yeah. what's popping i mean like what's really good it's your girl k back at it again with another video and today i'm coming at y'all with my everyday summertime glowy makeup routine for oily skin yes girl i'm gonna be showing y'all how to make yourself look dewy real nice and glowy for the summertime without having your oils all over the place I have crazy oily skin like when I tell you crazy oily I mean like after I do my makeup I have like a good 30 minutes with my skin looking good so I mastered pretty much a routine that I can do to get that dewy glowy skin without having to give up controlling of oils so it's really hard for us oily girls to get nice dewy skin for summer and nobody wants to be all dry and matte all summer long it's not cute but we can't really help it so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do it for my oily skin we're just gonna be everything under the Sun okay beaming <laughs> obviously my brows are on and done my brows came out pretty good today okay <laughs> but I haven't actually primed my skin yet but this is what I prime with this is the ROC multi correction chest neck and face cream and it has SPF in it so this is going to protect your skin from the sun so it looks like this it's white so a little goes a long way like you don't need to use a lot and i just put this all over my skin everywhere and then once you start letting it in i don't know if you guys can see but like i automatically got like a little dewy now i look really weird because i got like a mask of concealer but we're gonna cover that all the way up look at that it automatically gives me like a nice dewy look and that's definitely what we want to go for um but using this as a primer i know a lot of people when using dewy primers a lot of people with oily skin worry about it just making their oils worse and bringing out your oils even more but this i find hasn't done that for me since i've been using it i really like this stuff so if you can get your hands on it definitely i'm a little thirsty right now so what i do is take a little bit of my maybelline fit me foundation this is in the shade mocha 360 i find that it's like a semi matte it's not full coverage so it doesn't completely dry your skin which i really like and it does help with oil control so i'm just taking it on a damp beauty sponge and I'm literally not going to get a lot at all. Let me take a little bit more actually. I'm not going to get a lot. But I'm just going to use a little bit just to get a light coverage. And I love this foundation because it's so skin-like. Like, you know how matte foundation some dry down and like, you're like, <sighs> but this one, it kind of just like blends into your skin. It's like, I don't really know how to explain it, but... It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It doesn't. Ugh. It doesn't like completely suck the life out of your skin. It just looks skin like and natural. So shout out to Maybelline for mastering a foundation that everyone loves. And I've heard that the dewy one looks really good and works really well as well. We're gonna move on to concealer. And my is my eye twitching? My eye is twitching. Anyways, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer. But basically, we're just gonna apply our concealer like normal. Um, except I know that it's been a thing to like highlight in a triangle and like drag it all the way down your concealer. But I find that keeping it right here and then blending it down instead of applying the concealer directly on that little area, it keeps your skin it looks it makes the it 
it makes the um blend more cohesive and just natural not natural looking because obviously we're putting on makeup but you get what I mean and then I'm also going to take my beauty sponge and just tap this out all right so once you are done with that and blending out your concealer and getting that taken care of what I like to do is let my concealer sit under my eye a little bit before I set it I just feel like it kind of sets itself so that I can avoid using too much powder so that we can still stay matte and everything and set but like we don't have to put the cake in like the dryness that a uh, setting powder may bring to your face so I just like to let it sit for a second and I'm gonna go into my Nike K contour duo and I use one shade for my face and one shade for my bronzer so this is a shade that I use to set my face like everything but the concealer area and then this is what I use to just kind of bronze up my skin so I'm just gonna take this real techniques what is this a buffing brush and I'm gonna take the lighter shade and just set my foundation So once we are done applying the powder, then we're going to go in. I use this Wet n Wild brush. I think it's a blush and contour brush. And I take the darker shade. I just kind of like pat the powder. And then I start to kind of go in circular motions and bring it down. Then once we're done with that, I don't know if this really makes a difference, but I've been liking to go in with a fluffier brush with the same contour powder. And this is an e.l.f. Total Face Brush, but I just take like lightly over the powder, top, top, tap off a little bit, and I'm just going to take it in circular motions as well. We're going to go back to our under eye, and basically you're just going to blend out any creases that may have formed really really quickly and then you're just going to take some powder so I use my LA girl pro powder and banana yellow um, a lot of people will say that it gives flashback I've never had that problem with this and I've tried it and everything and never gotten any flashback from this powder so I don't know if it was like a bad batch or if I got a good batch I don't know what it is but I just take some powder on my beauty sponge and tap it under my eyes get my nose because my nose gets the most oily out of my whole entire face and then instead of baking and you know baking really takes as much moisture as possible as you let it as much time as you give it the more time that you give it to sit the more moisture that it takes out of your makeup and your foundation or whatever you're baking so instead of baking and drying out our concealer I'm just going to take my beauty sponge I wet it just a little bit more with a spray bottle and I'm just going to press the powder into my skin like so and then I'm just going to take another like fluffy face brush and I'm just going to dust off any extra powder that may still be on my face and then we're good so moving on now we're gonna start setting our face and spraying our face so I'm using my Mario Badescu rose water usually I use about 12 sprays I don't know why I count the number but that's just how I set my face how I've always done it basically but yeah so now I'm just taking my Mac Studios eyeshadow palette it doesn't have like an exact name it literally just says eyeshadow so I don't really know how you can get this I got it in a gift set for Valentine's Day for my mom I think and I've never really used it as eyeshadow I just love going across the whole thing and using it as highlight because look how pretty it is like boom bye. <laughs> And now I'm going to go into my Royals palette and I'm just going to take 
the shade crown down here and I use this to highlight with as well hey there I'm looking at myself in the mirror but I like to use crown as the highlight as well but I just take a little bit because a little goes a long way with this eyeshadow because it's really pigmented and I throw that on top now if you do have a lighter skin tone than me and crown may be a little bit too dark for you to highlight with then there's also queen right above it and it's a really nice shade as well that's what that looks like and then let me get a little bit of crown hopefully I'm not blinding y'all with the mirror because I can't really see I'm blind but yeah and now this isn't like for everyone because not everyone wears lashes but I'm gonna put on a pair of falsies I use my kiss lashes in shy because they're really natural and like flirty but they add a little poof poof is that the words I'm looking for so now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my lip gloss this is a lip gel this is by Nika K as well and only thing with this lip gloss I just picked it up from the beauty supply store but it is a pretty thick lip gloss. I know not everybody likes thick lip glosses, but this one is really thick. So if you don't like a thick lip gloss, this one's not for you. But there's so many other at the beauty supply store that that won't be a problem. But if you don't mind a thick gloss, then this one, I really suggest that you go ahead and try because it's really shiny. Oh, I forgot I had those swatches on my wrist. Now it's all over me. That's basically it for this look. My baby hairs are kind of all over the place now because I did my hair before I did my makeup. <laughs> I hope this helped. This really actually works for me. It looks really nice and really glowy and dewy. My face isn't crazy matte and everything just looks really, really nice and glowy. And that highlight is popping, girl. The key to a nice glowy look is some highlight, y'all. So make sure that y'all are highlighting your face, okay? I hope that you can rock this look all summer. If you like, you can add your own touch to it. Maybe put on some eyeshadow with it or whatever. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I don't know how many times I hate how many times that I say that. But I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm still searching for a name for you guys. But I think I'm going to go with K-Bays or something of that nature. So let me know down below in the comments what you think is cute. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.